attention. To the right. Base. This is the Continental Soldier with the air of confidence, to the doing left. a facing movement. Base. Turning upon his heels, correcting himself, one beat between each motion. To the right about. Face. When turning to the rear, he firmly slaps his cartridge box. Putting his hand to the rear will give him a center of gravity. So when he turns about, he will again spin upon his heels and correct his other foot. To the right about. Face. On every facing, the last movement is the fixing of the foot. When the soldier is taught to move his musket, he is again asked to count one beat between each motion. Poise. Fire lock. The balance of a soldier, especially in ranks, is critical to the maneuvers of an army. Make ready. Take aim. His finger will remain out of the trigger guard until the command to fire. Fire. Half cock. Fire lock. Take aim. Fire. fire. The Continental Soldier is going to go through the process of prime and load routinely. The prime and load is going to be a loading technique that will enable a Continental Soldier to fire three to four shots per minute. The typical ordinance for a Continental Soldier is buck and ball cartridge. A 6.9 caliber musket ball with three buckshot packed on top of the cartridge. This type of ordinance is used for more killing and wounding effect. Cock. Fire lock. Take aim. Fire. Make Cock. Fire lock. Take aim. Fire. Half cock. Fire lock. Hey, hey. Go ahead and brace right your forearm right on the elbow of the soldier before you. Fire. Nice and done. Hey, hey. Very nice volley. They should all be like that. Fire. Nicely done, first section. Hey, hey. But before being a dominant firing force, the system starts with each man standing in the proper form of a soldier, carrying his body in the air of a professional. The musket held still and deliberate, for confidence in the face of British regulars starts with the visible silence and steadiness under the stress of battle, all attentive to orders. In this doctrine, immediate response to command under fire made the difference between victory and defeat. Von Steuben's exercises streamlined commands and made economy of movement more efficient. With instructing the recruits on how to fire their weapons, wooden drill flints and wooden charges are used. Prime. Shot. Pan. Charge. Cartridge. Withdraw. Rammer. Ram down. Cartridge. In the manual exercise, the Return. movements of the muskets Rammer. have to be done in very close proximity to the body Shoulder. when one considers Barlock. the tightness of the ranks, whether in Boys. drill or in battle. Barlock. Cock. Barlock. Take aim. Fire. Shoulder. Barlock. As in all cases with von Steuben's manual, Order. uniformity of movements Barlock. and timing 
is to demonstrate professionalism. Shoulder. So the soldiers Fire. are taught one beat for every motion. Advance. On. Shoulder. Barla. Present. On. Shoulder. Barla. Charge. Bayonet. Shoulder. Barla. Order. Barla. Rest. Notice the heels are always two inches apart. Ground. Barla. Take up. Barla. Shoulder. Barla. Order. Barla. Order. Barla. Shoulder. Barla. Secure. Barla. Secure. Barla. Shoulder. Barla. Fix. Bayonet. With the manual exercise, the musket is to never touch the ground on the loading process or the fixing or unfixing of bayonets. Shoulder. Fire lock. Present. Arm. In the position of present arms, the right foot is brought back a hand's breadth, roughly four to five inches, behind the left. The musket is brought down to the front and center of the body. Notice the head and the eyes of the Continental, looking to the right. Shoulder. Fire lock. Charge. Bayonet. Shoulder. Fire lock. Advance. Arm. Shoulder, fire lock. Unfix, bayonet. Shoulder, fire lock. Order, fire lock. Rest. In the new Continental Army, each regiment was comprised of eight to ten companies, with one company designed as a light infantry company that would be oftentimes pulled out of the regiment and sent with other light infantry companies for special missions. But for the average regiment and its companies, these soldiers are going to be drilling approximately eight hours a day. And in this company, you're going to be divided up into two platoons. Each one of these platoons is going to be commanded by an officer and its sergeants. And for eight to 10 hours a day, these men are drilling. Each one of these movements, for every movement, for every exercise, for every manual of arms, for every position, everything is calculated to demonstrate on the battlefield in the face of British regulars 
that these men are experts, professionals at their craft of soldiering. And with that confidence, the Continental Army can go forward and fight the British regulars. They were first instructed how to look and dress. The officers, a captain, two lieutenants, and an ensign would model cleanliness and proper wear of the uniform. The NCOs, the first sergeant, the other sergeants, down to the corporals, carried the responsibility of making sure the enlisted men were following every discipline and regulation. The Baron system started with looking like a soldier. Be clean, neat, and proud of your position, despite often being naked and shoeless. They were next instructed on how to stand in the position of a soldier without a musket. Then with a musket, then they would be incorporated into a squad of other men and work on timing and fluency of handling the musket properly. Shoulder, parlor. Poi, Fala. Shoulder, Fala. Present, Fala. Shoulder, Fala. Present, follow. Shoulder, follow. Advance, follow. Shoulder, follow. Poise. Fala. Shoulder. Fala. Order. Fala. Order. Fala. Rest. The main army in 1779 is watching the British, who are penned up inside their fort circling New York. Most of the Continentals are either on outpost duty, fatigue duty, on raids, building forts, or constantly cleaning their clothing and gear, the other side of soldiers. 